Oh, another bomb. <gasps> oh. oh. Hi guys, we're nice. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. And I'm Gerard. Guys, what do you think about that first episode, bro? Fantastic. That first episode of Babylon 5 Season 3, it to me, it set the bar. I feel that Londo is going to start reminiscing his ways that he ended up messing up. He's on my, death, he's on my death pool. I won't be, if, he dies this, if he dies this season, I'll be the first one. I've never had a bigger ego boost than that last episode and me calling everything right. You did? No, you did yeah, a good job. Did you did a really good uh, job. Dude, I, that that, was that's the last thing I thought. I did not think that the shadows were on Earth. Yep. I did not see that. I thought like this. I, I, when you said that, I was like, nah. This guy that's a stretch. Stain. That's <laughs> a stretch. No, which makes me think that every time we have these 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 conversations about our, 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 our theory crafting, that some people get it on point and some people don't. And yeah. meanwhile, everything that's been on point has been because of you. That's what I, we well, suck. We're we're <laughs> dumb. <laughs> no, but the thing is, you and I are half retarded. But it is true. We do end up seeing in the comments like you guys are so right, but so wrong at the same <laughs> yeah. time. We're just so wrong. He's just <laughs> so right. We suck. I'm gonna have something that's gonna be so off base that somehow is gonna it stick come back to something yeah sticks. right. Yeah, it's gonna no. stick. Babylon <laughs> One still exists. We just didn't know. <laughs> Julian is gonna be like. <laughs> And something's gonna stick. I definitely. tell you what, though, if the, if Babylon Five blows up and the rest of the show, then Babylon Four, I'm quitting. Oh, yeah, hey, Michael, I, I, I don't think I can handle Michael's that, prediction. Yeah, no, that, that'll be too much. I cannot have Michael have a that'll prediction, proper, the, the, the perfect prediction. Cannot happen. But anyway, with that said, <laughs> that'll be fantastic. Season three started off with a banger. Yes, it really did. It, it, it's it's so much happened. We had a new guy show up. I don't know where. Yep. Who I guess is gonna be a main player. Yeah, Marcus right? Cole. Uh, Marcus Cole. Was it Cole? Paul? It may be. I mean, you're right. I, it was I, something I, with. I know it was Marcus. I don't remember the last name. Yeah. Uh, we had that. We had. We found out that the shadow is on Earth. We learned that. We have a brand new ship. Yeah. We do. That has a combination of Volon and uh, uh, Mimbari. Mimbari technology, technology right? Which and is awesome. If you remember, the staff, the crew were all religi the religious. religious cast. The religious cast. Yep. Which is. I think that's gonna make a riff at some point. That's gonna that's gonna be a problem, come right? Come back and bite. Really yeah, bad. I gotta. I have a feeling that's gonna come back and it's gonna be something crazy. So especially if there's like a civil war or something like that, what is religion gonna do? Just pray while they get slaughtered? See, but the thing is, I feel like the I feel like the warrior cast, technically, they don't want to work with the humans. So I feel like that would no, be because possible. they're still butthurt about what happened exactly. with the war. So it's like it has to be the religion cast. And by the way, I think one of the movies of Babylon Five is the Mimbari Earth War. Mm. So eventually we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So finally, see, heck yeah. at some point we'll get to that. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely be watching how that went. And I hope it's a great. I hope it's a great movie. I hope they did justice to it. Let's do well, it. with that said, guys, this is episode three, season. Oh, wait, excuse me, season two. <laughs> I'm messing this all up. This is season three, episode two. This is called Convince. You guys ready for this? Zero seconds and zero minutes. In case you were wondering. All right, we're about to start. Let's hit this. Let's get this done, guys. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Now let me get this straight. You two are missionaries? Yes. Great sign. We hear you have recent visitation by Drazi higher being. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Drabunka. Droshala. What? Whatever. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> that was rude. We've been seeing a lot of the Drazi. Why do I feel like they're going to be a huge proponent? Well, let's not forget this guy. You also blessed. Blessed. We touch to share your blessing. Bless. All right, nah, that's creepy. That's creepy. No, I will slap you both. <laughs> Where did you find that? That was perfect. Jesus Christ. Uh, me and Julian both share a brain cell. Uh, it's a nut. That's funny. We get a when, right. One of us gets a half to wake the other, the other half. While, while I take care of your entry pieces, okay? Yeah. Why do I get the feeling the Drazi is going to be the next genocided race? They may be super powerful for all we know. That'd be insane. They're too easy a joke. 
Nothing. Check over there. There's got to be something around here we can sell. Hey, look, flea. That's what I thought. I thought it was flea. <laughs> Check this out. Oh. Oh. What? Damn. Oh my God. Did they just bait a homeless guy? Dude, did it just explode? This is what DeSantis is doing here in Florida with the homeless. That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a shipping container. Oof. Well, they changed this whole opening. Yeah. 2260. Well, the place, Babylon Five. Just like, well, but they really pumped the new uh, some money into this opening. It's, it, it completely changed. It's dope, though. I'm not gonna say it isn't. Is Jerry Baldy getting balder? I'm gonna be honest. At this point, yeah. he, at this point, he just needs to become bald. Right. At this you point, know. there's nothing left. Uh, 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 he could be a Mimbari. <laughs> He's the bridge. The other side of the bridge. <laughs> Just got another ship in, and uh, I think you better come have a look. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you if you should let them on the ship. I'm Brother Theo. You already have too much of an infestation in the bottom. Don't bring more. This is monks? Yeah, in the floorboards. Why are so many religious people coming? You mean, what's convictions? No, because remember... What ended up happening with uh, Kosh? That he ended oh, up revealing himself. Yeah, so a, a lot of people have been talking about that they're God immersed in Babylon Five. So everybody's yeah, busy. Point. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. My brothers and I are from New Mallory, back home. We have applied to Earth Dome for permanent resident status on Babylon Five. The documents and the permissions from Archbishop Francis are all right there. Permanent residence? Yeah. God goes by many names. We've come here to learn all those names. In hopes of better understanding the one who is behind them. What you find is Kosh. With all the aliens who come through Babylon 5, we can accomplish our task in four or five decades. What if the bomb was they're doing to kill Kosh, but it just went away. There's no way because why would Kosh be in the, in the trash below quarters? Because it downplays the Bible. They're highly sought after experts in computer research, biogenetics. With all due respect, if these people are so much in demand, why are they involved with this? They also believe. Now, the question should be is how many? That was a lot of people. It was. I mean, as a as a leader of the station, I would have said, "Okay, you're gonna do down below, so make a new sector." We know this guy, Shang Tsung. Yes, your soul is mine. Okay, listen up. I want this whole area sealed off. Security personnel only. Tell the environmental cleanup crew that they can wait. Who will put a bomb here? Me sitting next to you, I'm in Bari. You know, us in that war and all. <laughs> But I don't hold a grudge. No, sir. You know, I, I say live and let live. Live and let live. Yep. I got hair. You got a bone. Oh, oh, no. Yikes. No. I have been diagnosed with Netter's syndrome. Since what? I have only seven days to live, I thought I would return home. He's and lying. My affairs in order before the end. Apparently, it's passed by physical contact. Oh. <laughs> See? Mm. Mimbaris don't lie. I will do penance later. <laughs> <laughs> Delan, how was your journey? Very productive. Oh! <gasps> no! Whose Deadpool was he in? I think he was mine. No. No. I don't remember whose Deadpool he was in now. Yeah, we need to double check. I don't remember the Deadpool anymore. I Is this it. how he dies? He's not dying. I'm telling you, that was that was an attack on Malari by the shadows. They that were was, going to that was on Malari for sure. Or it could be it, the could, it could be the, the warrior cast against against the Who could you think be? So? I don't know. It this could be anything. Now, come on. 
Wait, he's alive. He's alive. You will give him the best of care. He yes. saved my life. He could have gone through and saved himself. That's yours, Julian. He's on your death pool. Oof. Oof. I don't want to be 100% accurate anymore on this. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> How about you heard what Lando ended up saying? <laughs> yeah. I've got our central putting together a list of terrorist groups that might be expanding their range of operations. But my gut says that ain't it. That could be the Narn. We now have a total of seven dead <clears throat> and 19 injured, including Mr. Lanier. Injured. Injured. Oh. Injured. Calm down. Yo! Do whatever you have to do, but I want this stopped. Who? I. Anyone found in a restricted area without proper authorization will be taken in for questioning. Dude, this reminds me, this reminds me of 9 11, the way things were right after 9 11. Martial law. Hairline fracture of skull and shoulder. Ooh. It's obvious the Centauri are the ones planting these bombs. Jakar. No, that's not that obvious. Not the Centauri. The explosion that almost killed your captain. Almost killed Lando. I suppose we've had a convention of mad bombers arrive here at the station. <laughs> Maybe. We might have. From now on, I must remember to check the Babylon 5 social calendar more often. <laughs> He is so blind. I would hate to think that anyone would try to use this tragic situation to their own political advantage. There is nothing political about the truth, Captain, as you will discover soon enough. Was that a threat? Doesn't make any sense. Not to us, no, but to whoever is doing it, it sure makes sense. Unless these bombings are to cover something else up. Because this could be all just a huge distraction. How many centauri does it take to um, screw in a light bulb? Just one. But in the great old days of the Republic, hundreds of servants would change a thousand light bulbs at our slightest whim. <laughs> Just turns over this. Like, Shut up. Sh that's what I was thinking. There's something charming when Lando's being kind. And being, yeah. there's something very charming about him. The fact that he can take the role of being charming at the same time he can be a dictator, you know, it's just incredible range on him. Yep. Yeah. Would be. He's such a three dimensional character. Yeah, so he is. And one of my favorite moments is when he's like being nice with uh, 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 Vier. I, 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 like, I like that about him with Vier. Yeah. I feel like this is the second best relationship he has is with Lanier, uh, Lanier. First, obviously, being with Veer. We've been looking for political agendas. So far, all of his targets have been general. He's been striking out at people randomly. Could it be, um, what do you call it? The purple, the green? Uh, I always forget their name. The Drazi. The Drazi? So what we need you to do is go over all the footage <clears throat> taken after the bombings and see if anyone appears at more than one. It's not going to be very easy. You've got people going and coming. And That's all, then? That's all. Could you imagine, like, they're all actually fighting monks? These are all former IBM workers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another bomb. <gasps> oh. oh! Take the next elevator. Never mind. I'll wait for the next one. There is no next one. That's a big bomb. Yeah. That's a huge bomb. That was a huge explosion. Oh, Jakar is your moment. He died in an explosion. No, gonna what's going to happen fine. here? Is he out? This could go two ways. Oh, shit. Dude, I got goosebumps, bro. Dude. Oh, man. If Londo says that Jakar t attempted to attack him. No, because the bomb did. They're both victims of this. They, 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 there's evidence of that. Yeah, but you don't think Londo already would say that it was an attempt on his life by uh, yep. Jakar? I, what I can see here is J uh, Jakar killing him right, one, once and for all. He blew out most of Red 15. We can't even get down there. Look at this mess. 
Oof, look at this. Probably just got knocked out unconscious. Look, you left him alone. Yep. This is going to be awkward as hell. That's got to be one bad concussion to get. You think this can open up a, a, a door for conversation? No. You think so? <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think it'll end well. Green 2. Green 2. I like the symbolism of it being all red like this. Yeah. I like how Jakar is the only one with light on him, like a white light. Can anyone hear me? <laughs> bro, he's getting, bro, he's like, he's getting amused. It's not the place you want to be in if you were Lando. <laughs> it would appear that we are on our own. <laughs> the smoke and the heat will eventually make it impossible to breathe, and we will die. We is a lot. He's ready to die. Oh, uh, we is a lot of people. He's ready to die, this guy. Look at him laughing. Unless we get ourselves out of here on our own, we'll probably die here. <laughs> <laughs> I would much rather see you dead. <laughs> Can't kill me! You forget the terms of our surrender. The penalty for the killing of any Centauri by any Narn will be the death of 500 Narns, including the perpetrator's own family! Oof. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. And I still get to watch you die. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's, that's so cold. That's so cold. I mean, technically speaking, it's hot since it's warm. Shut up. As the Shut children up. say, up <laughs> yours, die. <laughs> Leave it. Ow. Bro, Jakar is literally living his dream right now. He's honestly living his dream. So this is not Mimbar, uh, Centauri or Narn explosions then? Us? Definitely not. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I mean, at, uh, least, so, uh, at least he's getting a, a kick out of this. It's not what I expected to go. You know, but. So nice divine retribution. We found you at the site of every explorer. Just watch. Are you sure about that? Is that human? Yeah. Okay, pull his employee jacket. Give me everything we've got on this guy and scramble attack team. Full armor. I want that area clear before we get there. It makes sense that was an employee because I was trying, I was trying to think, how is he, you know, sneaking in all these bombs? Yeah. He's probably been building over it for, for a long period of time. Well, remember, it yeah. was the standard industrial grade chemicals that were being used. So yeah. there's already on it. Question is why? And the chaos messages were from a public channel too, so. All right. Everybody out? Great. Now look. Oh, he knows they're coming. Hit the deck! I have an Abin. Did he kill himself? Nah. Isn't the year 2265? I'm holding a dead man's switch. Anything happens to me, anybody tries to rush the door, and you've got an explosion big enough to blow the whole station. You heard him. You buy some time. You can figure out what he's up to. Well, where do you suggest I put it? <laughs> well, the sun don't shine. <laughs> and whatever the hell you do, you don't let anyone page the captain. You hear me? I wonder how long he's been working on this plan. Because it seems like he had these bombs strategically placed. That's what I'm saying. It, it makes sense that he's a, he, that he works there. Like little by little. Could, he could have done it like learning. over a like, course of a year or more. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think if I remember correctly, the year is 2265. He was hired in 2260. So. No, but if he was contracted or, you know, somebody met up with him. Okay, let's say I give you what you want. It's going to take time. Yeah, but he probably had multiple bombs set up. Yep. Yeah, but if he has to wear the fusion... The reactor. Fusion reactor. Security is not going to open fire if I am a hostage, so why bring other people into it? Why not? Oh, no, he's a psycho. She a former soldier? She a soldier? People need to understand fear. Do you understand fear? I thought he shot him. I thought he shot him. Me too. 
My wife walked out on me. I lost my job, my apartment. It's always a woman. <laughs> Made us eat the apple. When I was fired, when they took away my apartment, they all said, it's nothing personal. It's just the times. So he's just a psycho who lost his job? Yep. And his family. And lost his wife? I mean, how do I know there even is another bomb? There is. Trust me. It's there. This guy's a really good psychopath. Just let you know. Yeah. I got something. Oh, man. This thing's big enough to blow straight through the reactor core. Sit down. You're making me nervous. I'd rather stand. I said sit down! Uh, 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 uh. You better stop. Trigger happy. <laughs> I don't want those guys to die. There you go. As far as possible. See you in hell, Captain. It didn't. It's not fair. I'm going to beat him down. A hundred percent. You can't just Yo, hit one. Ah, man. Just one punch? Yo. Get out of here. His face will be unrecognizable. Oh, my <laughs> God. I would have gone ahead. Nah, 100%. Bro. 100%. Dude, this man almost killed Anir, bro. Okay. This man literally yeah, almost fine. destroyed the ship. I picked that creep up and throw him in the brig. We almost got, we almost all had our, the, the, the Deadpool going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, poor Jakar. He's going to be pissed. How many Centauri does it take to screw in a light bulb? No, just one. But in the great old days, the great old days of the Republic, hundreds of servants would leap. You know, Lando did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome back. Mm. How do you feel? Do the burns. Stop touching his burns. The Centaurum will probably want to give you a medal. Uh, I should have stayed in the coma. <laughs> <laughs> hey! In here! We got two more! Ah! <laughs> Get that spanner over here fast! There, you see! <laughs> it's an imperfect universe. Bastard. <laughs> Monster. Fanatic. Murderer. You are insane! And that is why we'll win. <sighs> I hate my life. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. That was episode two convictions. Okay. Um. I didn't think it was gonna be a human being, let alone for that story he gave. So he didn't belong to anybody. It was just him doing his own act. This is mental thing. He was yeah. He was just crazy. He was just he was just crazy. Let me just stop this timer I, here. I, I don't get why they. <sighs> I'm a little annoyed at this episode. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted it to be some bigger thing in the grand like scheme of things. Thing. Yeah. It just felt like a, a filler. It. it did feel like a filler. Yeah. It did feel like a filler. Um. I don't. Maybe they were trying. Okay, I'm trying to think. What were they trying to pull off in this episode? For because people, the reason I'm, I'm talking about this is because people have talked about this season like it's the next coming of Jesus. <laughs> and this ep the first episode was like, wow, fantastic. This episode is like they kind of hit the brakes here for a second, yeah. And I'm wondering if they were setting something up, maybe the monks would be something of importance later on, maybe. And this is just their way of getting the monks involved somehow, and the drowsy religious people, the drow well, the religious thing. I mean, it's very, it was very small, but with your connection, what you said, it makes sense. Is what he, even what the what the, the monk said. Well, it's not not only just the monks. Uh, remember the first two people, the mission, the yeah, yeah, yeah. that they were saying that uh, that it was reported that pretty much their god uh, took presence on Babylon Five, which is during the time of uh, Kosh when he ended up revealing himself outside. Of the but field. I would I would have liked to see more of that this episode. Yeah, that I, happened, first I thought it was going to be more in the sense than of some like, random guy yeah. who's 
divorced and lost his job and it's blowing Armin things up. And everything like that. I, I feel right. like it would have been a better storyline if they had um, the different religious groups trying to kill Kosh because they, because of like just them being manipulated in a way like because it, it seems like the Vorlons were, had a large hand in manipulation of but all it, the races. But it thinks obviously for the better, but like at the same time, they're you're gonna have those religious fanatics that are like this is some kind of hearsay. But that's all seat. kept secret. That's the thing. But you know what? Back in yeah. the 90s, yeah. in the, back in the 90s, now that I'm thinking about it, back in the 90s, there was uh, a guy who was dropping off bombs all over America. Yeah. And I'm wondering if this is based off of that. Maybe this was inspired by that. Oh, I would hate that. Um, oh, my God. What was his name? It's something bomber. Uh, the lo- Not the lone bomber. Uh, uh, anyway, it's not the Boston Marathon bomber. No, no, no. That was way before that. Yeah, that was okay. in the 2000s. Yeah, okay. okay. So uh, um, he was some dude that lived in the woods somewhere, and he hated everything that was going on. And he was just dropping bombs off everywhere, and it was like a weird thing. I, I forgot what he was. The Unabomber. Oh, the Unabomber. The Unabomber. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if this is again. This is the 90s. This is 95, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I wonder if this had anything to do with the Unabomber and trying to keep it relevant to what was going on during the time. Yeah, you know, and maybe to the, like, like we're watching it now. It's like, you I know? would really hate that though. I would really, really hate that because it feels like they try to glorify the bomber a little bit and like making him like I don't know. Just I don't. That doesn't sit right with me. I don't. Well, I think I think they were trying to put it more in the sense of you gotta understand. Babylon Five has this ideal like method of bringing you in into the show, like making you think like that is true. Like the show is true life, right? So whether if that was during the time that that was happening, um, they're, try- well they're, they're trying to bend, they're, they're trying to picture as in like Babylon Five also go through these like minor psychotic, uh, you know, episodes. Yeah, but it doesn't things really, like But that. it doesn't help the story. It doesn't. Like, but it makes it more. They made it more major of a story than it being a minor story. The best thing we got out of it was the fact that Jakar and Jakar Lando the, the, the elevator scene. scene. Yeah, that, yeah. that was the best thing that came out of that. But even even the the way it ended was. Eh. Yeah. Right. Even the way uh, 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 Sinclair, not Sinclair, uh, uh, Sheridan, <laughs> Sinclair, Sheridan defeated the guy. I don't know. I, like, I eh. would kick the crap out of him. All right, so, uh, number, One punch. That's it. This is almost TKO, bro. Yeah. For, this is, this is, is how I'm feeling. The, is this the TKO of season three? Is this what it is? This is I think mm. this is worse than TKO. I'm not. Yeah. Well, I don't know about worse than yeah. TKO. No, 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 no. Nothing no, can no. be how TKO. Dare you? How, how, Nothing. how dare you? But Nothing can be TKO. I do feel. I mean, if I'm correct in what I'm saying, I wonder if this was uh, trying to make it relevant to what happened with the Unabomber. And um, I mean, I wish I remember his name, but um, maybe he was captured in this time, and they were just trying to trying to make it. Put it in, in. They're trying uh, to make it seem as like Babylon Five also go through regular everyday problems. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it. this episode sucked. It did. Hundred percent sucked really bad. This is not a good episode. Yeah. This is this is not the caliber episode I expect from Babylon Five after what we've been through. Yeah, I, I thought we were done with this. But the elevator scene was funny, though. It, it was, yeah, but it was. but it wasn't worth the 44 minutes that we react. Like, nothing happened. Other than the fact that we almost lost in there, which you would have been a one. I, I, that's you cashing in. But daddy, you were hurt by that. Yeah. Had he died, at least we would have said, okay, wow, that's messed up. He died. I would have pissed. Yeah, but got pissed off more, though, because it would have he been, died for a dumb reason. Yeah, and it would have been to such a shitty story. Julian, I'm, Julian I'm, would have been I'm mad. Really annoyed. Really I'm said. really, really yeah, pissed off. Annoying. Annoying. Julian would have been. Think about it. This, this, this was caca. Yeah. This is not. Julian would have um, been eating the steak, mad. Like this is the most easiest way to win, man. Yeah. I wonder though if this. <laughs> I wonder though if this was the network interfering with his work. Probably. Probably. You know, like I don't think this was something that. Well, why would you do the unip? Why would? You- yeah. Well, it's funny because if you think about it, it kind of. <laughs> Let's just wrap up this episode. No, no, we got to really no, no, we gotta, we gotta talk I'm, about it. I'm genuinely Let's talk about, about it this because I, I, my fear is that we have a couple more episodes like this, maybe. Oh, God, no. And, 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 and but, excuse me, if we do, we should mentally prepare ourselves knowing the fact that there might be more episodes like that. Like, we're, we're putting our set too high so right th- now. This so. might be the only episode like that, though. But again, because people do, they've been talking this season up. Uh, and I'm glad they didn't tell us that there's a bad episode coming up because then it, it, no, they, they, we're, 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 doing, we're going through this without them spoiling. And I right. really, really appreciate the fact you guys are not even told that this crappy episode was coming up. Um, kind of wish we did it when Michael was here. <laughs> Get yeah, it out of the way. Michael would have had like yeah. a much 
<sighs> it did leave a bad taste in my mouth. Like, like this is not what I expect. The, the thing from is, Babylon that Five. I don't, at this point, compared to when we ended up watching TKO, TKO that entire episode is just a straight up filler. Like there was nothing introduction. No, but I like no, that, I like that the, episode. But the the rabbi with Ivanova was super interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, it was her trying to come to terms with her past. Was his father? Was his well, father? Well, correct. Legacy. When it comes to the story, like, her, her part we, of her I, story. At least correct. we got that. For, we didn't get that here. We well, we ended all we ended up getting was the introduction of the monks. Right? Uh, you might be right. You might be so right that the introduction this might be better, of the TKO might be better than this episode. Wow, this might be less worse than the TKO. That's saying a lot. You know I'm saying because, like, I'm telling you, we got the monks out of this, right? But we don't know what that means. Still, yeah. we don't know what that means yet. Uh, we had the the the, 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 the religious thing going on. We got to watch a couple episodes to really confirm if this episode was worse than TKO, if that's the case. Because if it turns out that this episode actually ended up giving some really big foreshadowing, then we'll be like, okay, now TKO was garbage at that point. I can't, But I can't um, imagine how. I can't imagine exactly. how. And then, we, and then we just have to just verify. Like, you know, we just have to see at that point. Okay. Well, not happy. This was... Garbage. Hot garbage. This was, yeah, I'm going to Thumbs down. Thumbs down. This is a three out of ten, I think. Three out of ten. One out of ten. No. Garbage. Um, so annoyed with this episode. So it's just so garbage. It didn't serve any. It didn't serve any purpose to the story. It was about the Unabomber and like. That, that's what I'm saying. If they if, again, I kind of feel uh, uh, that this episode have was made during the time of the Unabomber. Uh, Ted Kaczynski, I think his name was, and they were trying to make it during that uh, time frame. That time frame, like it probably came out, he was caught or whatever it was. So I think they'll force that in this, because I, I, there's nothing here. There's nothing other than I was entertained with the fact that again the elevator scene, the only thing worth it. But it was, it was, mm. it was super man. Yeah, super man. Anyway, guys, listen. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please hit the like button, subscribe button, guys. Let us know what you think. Do you feel the same way? Uh, it, just, what happened? <laughs> what episode's better? TKO no, or, this, I, or this one? I'm coming into season three. I'm looking at every episode and be a bang. Are we going to be yep. dealing with this, 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 this nonsense? This craziness that's going to happen in Babylon 5? So much has been going on in the last four to five episodes. And then we get, a, we get an egg? An egg? With this episode? You know what I mean? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Well, listen, guys. Uh, um, we're not gonna talk too much about this episode. I don't, don't want to, cause I love Babylon Five. I love Babylon Five. I don't want to talk negative about Babylon Five. All right. But with that said, uh, we can't expect every episode to be. I mean, what show do you know that every episode is like? Rah! Well, what you know I, I mean, I, 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 the ratio between amazing episodes and eh, episodes, House of the Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I I do. How dare you? You're well, it's perfect. How's that? It's perfect. Exactly. So. I do feel that Londo is going to end up opening up maybe to the Mimbardi, if that's the case, more. Especially after, no, I, after he just there, got saved. There's no proof of that. No, but still, but yeah, remember, he's still a tyrant. Oh, no, 100%. You know, no, I'm not saying and, it's going to fix it, and but. The Mimbari wants him to stop. They're not going <clears> to. <throat> I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Well, we are our knights. This was season three, episode two, Guys, convictions. Thanks for hanging out with us, for appreciating, for for hang, for loving us so much that you sat through this crappy episode with us. Of Babylon. don't get us wrong, we love the show. The show is still a five star show, okay. Uh, but every so often, you know, there's a stumble here, there's a stumble here and there. So, but I am gonna officially say that this episode was worse than TKO. Mm. I think so because at least TKO we got. Some Ivanova background that 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 I think is still adding to her character. Yeah. Well, on this episode, we that, I don't know what could be useful in, information, we'll but see. we don't know yet. We'll see. So we'll we'll, we'll see if when we the season's that statement. over. When the season's over, no. we're gonna talk about uh, if this if this episode of the monks did anything. Yeah. Was it worthwhile? All right. So anyway, guys, listen. Thanks for hanging out. With us. We are our nights. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. And I'm Gerard. Guys, we'll see you soon. Peace. Take care. Have a good one.